I am a humble citizen, who one day demanded in vain that the courts punish the power-hungry man who had violated the law and torn our institutions to shreds. The right of rebellion against tyranny has been recognized from the most ancient times to the present day by men of all creeds, ideas, and doctrines. The city-states of Greece and Rome not only admitted, but defended the meeting out of violent death to tyrants. All these reasons support men who struggle for the freedom and happiness of the people. None support those who oppress the people, revile them, and rob them heartlessly. Still, there is one argument more powerful than all the others. We are Cubans, and to be Cuban implies a duty. Not to fulfill that duty is a crime, is treason. We are proud of the history of our country. We learned it in school and have grown up hearing of freedom, justice, and human rights. We were taught that liberty is not backed for, but won with the blade of a machete. We were taught that for the man who abides by unjust laws and permits any man to trample and mistreat the country in which he was born is not an honorable man. We were taught to cherish and defend the beloved flag of the Lone Star and to sing every afternoon the verses of our national anthem. All this we learned and will never forget, even though today in our land there is murder and prison for the men who practice the ideas taught to them since the cradle. We were born in a free country that our parents bequeathed to us, and the island will sink into the sea before we consent to be slaves of anyone. In the world there must be a certain degree of honor, just as there must be a certain amount of light. When there are many men without honor, there are always others who bear in themselves the honor of many men. These are the men who rebel with great force against those who steal the people's freedom, that is to say, against those who steal human honor itself. In those men, thousands more are contained, human dignity is contained. I come to the close of my defense plea, but I will not end it as lawyers usually do, asking that the accused be freed. I cannot ask freedom for myself while my comrades are already suffering in the ignominious prison of the Isle of Pines. Send me there to join them and to share their fate. It is understandable that honest men should be dead or in prison in a republic where the president is a criminal and a thief. I know that imprisonment will be harder for me than it has ever been for anyone, filled with cowardly threats and hideous cruelty, but I do not fear prison, as I do not fear the fury of the miserable tyrant who took the lives of seventy of my comrades. Condemn me, it doesn't matter. History will absolve me.